this has a lot to do with identity, like self-identity. This is what I would call the historical college area of Denton. So if you're going to set up store, where would you want it? If you're selling, if you're catering to college kids, then you're going to set up on Fry Street. Like I said, we all have stories about Fry Street. Ten years ago, we used to run drum jams here in the store. And they got so big, they went out to the street. We had the jams there. It was every Thursday night. At that time, Delta Lodge hadn't burned down yet. So they had live bands. Jim's Diner, which is no longer there, had live bands. Imagine Image, which was a hair salon, had live bands. All right. Rich Place had live bands. Cool Beans had live bands. He had bands on the street. The street was filled with people. All right. That was common on Thursday nights down here. There was a sense of community and people, when you walked down the street, you knew these people and you would talk and visit and a great sense of community. So. And even if you didn't know them, you'd, you know, you'd stop and talk to somebody. And, and you know, it doesn't, you didn't have to know people, you know, you yeah. could just stop and start a conversation with somebody because you're bound to have something in common because there you are on Fry and Hickory. I think a lot of people, especially the younger people who seem to be more upset than some of us older folks, I think that a lot of them have never really felt the sense of community that they get here. Not to say that uh, there won't be other generations from now on that would uh, have their own experiences you know, with these particular, uh, with, if they were to build new buildings there, but you just cut off everybody from here backwards uh, as far as having some ex experience, shared experience. I think it would be very sad to lose something that is so distinctly dim. The identity of the city and taking away this area is taking away part of what it is to be I didn't to live here. It's real hard to like place a value by physical appearance on this area. It's in everybody's minds. As far as looks and aesthetics go, um, admittedly Fry Street is pretty run down. I mean, I don't know that you definitely need to raise the entire street and start over from scratch, but a fresh coat of paint and some renovations wouldn't help. It's not the people who come here. It's because the city doesn't empty the trash canisters on a regular basis that they're overflowing. And I'm, I'm going to go back to this being an incubator for artists. The, the people that have come out of this, that have performed in this very space, Sarah Hickman, um, Brave Combo, I mean, these are people who have national reputations, um, Tripping Daisy, um, Edie Bacal and the New Bohemians. She used to play just around the corner, and now she's married to Paul Simon. From my experience being in Brave Combo, uh, we took, man, we've taken a lot of band photos along here that have been printed all over the world, so that's something for us. Started, our first gig was in that building, right here. We feel like places like Denton, and I've felt like this a long time, needs to give out more support for what's made Denton famous and what makes Denton such a great place to live, and it's been art and music. That is the core. 
this is all part of one creeping uh, virus, you know. I think all the viruses is homogenization, you know, just that, that corporate homogenization. If you want it, then that's fine. You know, you can look at how Dallas has crept up 35. Now, obviously, at some point, some people threw their hands up and this is the way it is. And Denton, to me, seems like the last outpost here. You know, our Longhorns are going. You know that. All those Longhorns, all that's going. That's all been eaten up. The ones out there on the other side of Skaggs, all that land's gone. That's kind of scary to see those spaces eaten up, to see this eaten up, to see that. Because if that goes and this goes, you know, there's a lot of changes in Denton right now that are disturbing. And I'm trying to understand both points of view. I'm trying to understand that really this is nobody's fault. You know, none of this is. the. We don't know the promote. I mean, the, the uh, developer, but he probably bought some property in good faith. He was led here by some statistics. You know, the person who owned the property has every right to sell it. But what's happening now, this and everybody's reaction to it is the best thing everybody can do and the only thing everybody can do is to ri rise up and just express concern for the preciousness of this, you know. Denton wants to claim that it's north of ordinary, like their new slogan. Uh, they want to claim that they're different from other towns. If we were able to do something with the developer where he could have what he wanted, and then we had something we could point at that had the physical appearance and the walkability of a public with a neighborhood centerpiece, I think everybody would be happy. If we were to take the theme of the existing structures and do something that uh, harmonize with that, and um, I'm, I mean, nobody is, is, is interested in necessarily preserving historic parking lot. Montreal, some big cities have very small areas where groups of people get together and uh, it saves them from being terribly uh, cold and, and sterile. So putting something like an, an art theater, a movie theater, that would add value to the whole town. Uh, make a, a bricked in walkable area with public art. <clears throat> make a, uh, uh, an, a small amphitheater that steps down nine to 10 feet to a circular area with public electricity where between two and six in the afternoon, anybody can plug in and have a public music performance, you know? Uh, make a walkable area where once a month you could let our local artists like sell their wares. You know, it's like an artist flea market. Um, public bronze wise, you know, have some chairs with music stands that are permanent fixtures, which at any point a chamber orchestra, a small chamber orchestra can set up and play. You know, I'd like to see some kind of uh, 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 nod to the Delta Lodge, which when I first came here, I drove past that corner and there was a motorcycle in a tree. I'd like to see a bronze tree with a motorcycle in it. I'd like to see a bronze, I'd like to see a couch like cast in bronze. I want to see like this, these public, I, I want it to f just reek of like art and music and I want it to be like a place that's, that's free for expression. It could be a good thing if it was done right. I think the story's just begun. Viva la revolución! Or, no revolution! Actually. Come on!